Hello students, welcome back. This is class 6 science, chapter 3, fiber to fabric. In this video lecture, I will be discussing all the NCERT textbook exercise questions along with the solutions. Let's start with question number 1. Classify the following fibers as natural or synthetic. Nylon, wool, cotton, silk, polyester and jute. Answer Wool, cotton, silk and jute are the natural fibers whereas nylon and polyester are synthetic or artificial fibers. Explanation The clothing materials that occur from plants or animals naturally are termed as natural fibers. Here, cotton and jute are obtained from plants, so they are termed as plant fibers. However, wool and silk are obtained from animals, so they are termed as animal fibers. Thus, these fibers occur naturally, so they are classified as natural fibers. But there are some fibers which are processed form of natural fibers using chemical processes after adding few chemical compounds are termed as man-made or artificial fibers. Methane, ethanol, etc. are used as materials or chemicals for making synthetic fibers. Here, polyester and nylon are classified as synthetic fibers. Question number 2. State whether the following statements are true or false. Statement A. Yarn is made from fibers. It's true. Statement B. Spinning is a process of making fibers. We are aware that the process of making yarn from fibers is termed as spinning. Hence, it is a false statement. Statement C. Jute is the outer covering of coconut. We are aware that the outer covering of coconut is taken out and termed as coconut fiber, which is used in making ropes. However, jute fiber is obtained from the stem of jute plant and is used in textile industry for making clothes. This makes our statement C a false one. Statement D. The process of removing seed from cotton is called ginning. It's a true one. Statement E. Weaving of yarn makes a piece of fabric. Again, it's a true statement.
statement is silk fiber is obtained from the stem of a plant we are aware as silk fiber is a natural fiber obtained from silkworm so it is not obtained from the stem of plant however jute fiber is a naturally occurring fiber which is obtained from the stem of its plant making this statement a false statement g polyester is a natural fiber students polyester is a synthetic fiber which is made up of repeating unit or molecule that is ester thus polyester is not a natural fiber but a synthetic fiber these synthetic fibers are not water absorbent that acts as water resistant and thus do not wrinkle easily hence polyester is a natural fiber is a false statement question number 3 fill in the blanks a plant fibers are obtained from fruits and stems explanation cotton jute and coconut fibers are obtained from the plant fibers cotton fiber is formed around the seeds of cotton balls that is the fruit of the plant whereas jute fiber is obtained from the stem of its plant b animal fibers are wool and silk explanation wool fiber is obtained from the hair of sheep yak etc so they are termed as wool yielding animals and silk fiber is obtained from the silk worm hence wool and silk both are examples of animal fiber question number 4 from which parts of a plant cotton and jute are obtained answer cotton fibers are present in the cotton balls inside it the seeds are covered with a soft protective case of cotton thus cotton fiber is obtained from the fruit that is cotton ball of the plant whereas jute fiber is obtained from the stem of the jute plant question number 5 name two items that are made from coconut fiber answer ropes and mattresses are the two items that are made from coconut fiber let's look at the explanatory part coconut fiber is obtained from the outer fiber covering of fruit of the coconut plant and is obtained from the husk or hair like structure that is formed from the hard covering of a coconut it is used to make the mattresses 
ropes, brushes, etc. We have reached to the last question. Question number 6. Explain the process of making yarn from fiber. Answer. The fibers are first drawn out from their sources and then twisted out that brings the fibers together to form a yarn. The process of making yarn from fiber is termed as spinning. Spinning is done with the help of devices like charkha and takli, commonly known as hand spindle. Students, that's all for the questions. However, let me again remind you the explanatory parts are not mentioned here for you to note it down in notebook. It is given so that you understand the answers better. Thank you.